started. Let me know once you're able to see the screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, what we have seen yesterday, like what we saw yesterday, is uh, data loading. In data loading, we have seen that internal stage, we have data load, we have we saw user stage, we saw table stage, we saw uh, internal stage, uh, named internal stage, uh, and all three type of stage we saw. Then how we get a copy of a data into internal stage, and then how to copy it into the tables. Uske baad humne ye dekha ki stage clean kaise karte hai, then trickery tables kya hote hai, it's like a metadata table which holds the metadata. We also saw uh, how they keep the history of tracking and other options. Uh, okay. Now we'll see the reverse one, how to unload the data from Snowflake. We have that Snowflake stores the data in micro partition format. <clears throat> right now when we move out the data from snowflake it converts that micro partition into the format that you specify and then you download it from that internal stage to the uh, external or uh, local machine so in this diagram, if you see, the first diagram shows data loading. Second diagram shows the process of data unloading. Uh, in I'll talk more on the data unloading now. So we have data load kiya tha, loading. Se. Unloading mein kya hoga? You copy it to external stage. And this is with the example again, the external stage. Uh, you copy that data into external stage and from that uh, external stage, you get it on the S3. It's the same, you can use uh, the public bucket where you have a write access. You can have second option, you can use the access key, the uh, AWS uh, access key, a secret key to get it on right on the S3 or you can use a S3 integrate storage integration. These are the three methods into when you copy the data from external stage from Snowflake to external stage. Okay. Uh, pretty easy. It's just a reverse of what we did uh, in loading. What are the methods? Um, uh, just before moving to this, I will just want to make an announcement. Aaj hum log, uh, data load unloading dekhenge with both in external and internal. And just we'll see the overview of uh, snow pipe. What is snow pipe? What are the different types of snow pipes are? Uh, and then we will, I'll explain you about the interview. Uh, so I'll ask question and I'll tell you how to answer and what is the ideal answer uh, for. And then we can have a question and answer session where you can ask questions specifically related to the interview. Uh, interview and I'll more focus on the technicals rather than the other technicals in the sense project related. Um, I'll not uh, take the questions related to uh your documents or other thing that the sir will cover uh, and he knows he's the best person to give the answer to those so what i'll cover is technical questions project management related questions and some general questions okay that's the split for today's session uh, let's get started so how do we unload the data now I'll open. Okay.
Oh, uh, and one more thing before we proceed. Uh, yesterday we added around 50 people to uh, the GitHub. So you must have received, most of people have received uh, the link. So if I go to the setting on this repository, I have uh, So we have 53 people's uh, access to this repository. Out of 27 are collaborator. 26 logo ko invitation gaya hai. Just, and these are the people uh, who might have received the invitation in their email. You can see that uh, these people are already on the GitHub. Just they need to accept it. Okay. Uh, there is some, but jinka GitHub account nahi hai, just like this. Uh, they need to sign up to GitHub and then accept that invitation. So still there are few people. Now, Baki log jay, I think on the sheet we have 82 people. Uh, there was a limit on a day how much invitation you can send. Today we can send the invitation and you can join this repository. Uh, I'll encourage others, 25 people to join this, accept this so that you can have an access. Okay, that's the first. Second thing, uh, on the vault, uh, I have added all 82 people uh, who are on the listed on the dashboard or the Excel. Just I'm getting the key. Okay, so here on So all 82 people have added and um, I think did I mention the password? No, right? Okay, so for all user uh, for every user the password is the same so you can see I created programmatically and the password is test password. So I think I forgot to mention in the chat. Did anybody try to log in or try to access it? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. So, did anybody try to access it? No. No, sir. Okay. Sir, but what's the token ID? No, no. So that's what I'm telling. When you sign, you don't have to sign by token ID. You have to sign by username and password. Uh, so let me sign it with Akshay. Okay. This is the user. I'll sign out for this. Okay. So you don't have to yeah. sign it by. You have to sign it by username, password. And this is the user. I log in with the password. Test password is the login. And you can log in here. Okay. Uh, and the credentials will be stored under uh, KV and uh, KV stand for key value engine uh, here environment dev environment and under the dev environment you have AWS I just put a sample we can go ahead and probably you don't have access to edit this right uh, this key value you can just only see and access through API I can give an access 
for all to change if you need. Uh, let me know if you need an access. So it is governed by, uh, no, you don't have access to this. So it is root user has only access. Right now I have given root user koi access the key generate karne ka. You have, I have given the only read access. So let me log in with the root, with the token. So you don't need to have a token um, or root access. I log in at a root user or root user may policies may access policy bw policy you can see up ko ye location pay metadata ya fit data or ya fit all location pay list access hai. and that's why you are not able to create it or edit it i can add this access and create give the access to you to do it uh, Okay, for right now I removed access because everybody will start editing it um, and everybody will have different accounts. So for right now, just log in it and use an API to call it, okay? Will work uh, here. Okay, so that's the site. Um, now I'm going, any question here? Hello. Yes. Uh, so, sir, we have to generate the secret ID. Whatever we want to make a connection. Of okay. Um. Yeah. Right now, here I change a little bit because uh, may agar app role or secret ID uh use karu, so everybody will have same access. So you can access this with your username and password, and then make an API account. Instead of using the role ID and secret ID, uh, use uh, your own username and password. So you can generate your token also, right? That is the other option you can use. I'll explain it later, okay? So there are different methods. Uh, if you know, uh, there are different methods to create authentication method, right? Authentication method con con se ek to token. So I'm able to log in with the token. Second is username and password. So that's the second method. What is the third method is app role. Jo humne last time dekha tha, app role dekha tha. Correct? Yes, sir. So I have not created app role. The reason is that everybody will have same username or I mean secret ID and other thing. Right now, I just change it to with the username and password so that everybody can have a separate login. Okay. Uh, uske alawa, hum log integrate bhi kar sakte. So we can integrate with the AWS account uh, or we can directly integrate with the GitHub. So GitHub se bhi login ho sakta hai. Uh, or any all three cloud providers uh, uh, and Alibaba Cloud also is there, you can integrate. Infrastructure, now, so this is the thing which being used by in your production system. Actual jo companies, hai, they use this. Either they use LDAP or they use Okta. Okay, what is this? Uh, don't have to remember it, but for your knowledge, I will tell you. Uh, LDAP ya Okta ya fir, uh, Active Directory a central system rehte hai. Jaise aap koi company join karte ho aur to aap kaun se department mein ho? Wo department mein jo logo ko access rehta hai, aapko sab access mila. Iske liye wo group banaya rehta hai Active Directory pe, right? And then 
uh, automatically you get added to that group. So you get an access to different systems, servers, applications. Up company chodeo, so you just get removed out of that group and your account is disabled. Done. So you have to remove access to every thing. If you remove one place, you will remove your access. So that are the central systems where they hold all that information. Uh, and you leave company at 5 o'clock. The last day you have to remove your account at 5 o'clock. So that you get a disabled account at 5 o'clock. So that you get a disabled account. उसके बाद लॉगिन नहीं कर सकते सो दीज आर सेंट्रल सिस्टम्स जहां पे आपका मॉनिटर होता है सो नाउ इट इज इंटीग्रेटेड इन टू वॉल्ट क्यू कि पासवर्ड आपका सिंक रहे आपने अगर एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी में पासवर्ड चेंज किया तो वॉल्ट में आपका चेंज होगा व्हेनेवर यू कॉल नाउ कॉल इट यू गेट द पासवर्ड एंड दिस इज मेनली फॉर सर्विस अकाउंट जो बैच अकाउंट रहता है उनके लिए रहता है सो दे दैट्स हाउ दे प्रोसीड विद दिस ओके ओके फॉर राइट नाउ आई प्रोसीड विद द स्नोफ्लेक एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू कनेक्ट विद योर यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड ओके सो अनलोडिंग in progress. Now, any question? Any question? No. Okay. So, uh, let's see how we can unload the data uh, to external stage. The first is we need to create a stage, external stage, uh, and again, name stage. We are creating the name external stage. Uh, and we are using the storage storage integration and we'll use that storage integration file format to unload to a particular location so i'll copy this and let's do it Okay, data unloading. Now, if you remember when we loaded the data last time with this, we created a stage, a storage integration. Uh, I'll use that storage integration. So this is the storage integration. Now uh, we need to create a stage. Uh, this is my stage name. I'm giving the name create or replace stage, stage name, external stage, unload to S3 is the stage I have, stage name, let's give the S3 bucket URL.
Okay, I just created the unload prefix into it. Okay, data load and unload. And copy S3 URI. I'll paste it here to give the data unload location. And I have storage integrator S3 and create a file format. So I'm going to use the file format which we already created. Uh, this is the file format, sales data file format I'm creating. Okay. So it's the same thing. Uh, stage create karte the load ke liye. Similarly, I created for unload. Uh, just execute this. Now I have a created uh, does not exist. Let me check. Oh, uh, it does not have authorization. Let me switch to sysadmin. We are not connected any database. Okay, then DB. Okay. And this SQL error. Let's see what it says. Okay, insufficient prelude. Let me give the access. So, uh, integration way access nahi hai. Oh, it's just a read access, right access. So what happened um, when we created this S3 storage integration, we created with the read only, right? If you remember uh, when we created here, we gave only read access. So we need to modify it to get it to the right access as well. Right, so let's go, uh, let's get modify it on here i'll just describe this and see the access through a i am so this is the role arn uh, for that i'll go to the s3 uh, in i am sorry and give an access to it We just have a uh, get object, put object here, uh, but put object on this, on sample data, okay? We don't have that put object. Uh, let me edit this and I'll just remove this. And after that, everything, so put object access already here, but it was on that prefix. Uh, so also here, I want to change uh, 
action S3 put object. I think I'll also give the delete. The reason is that uh, we have multiple, we'll override it. So I also I want to give it the delete. Okay. So Snowflake sample data, uh, ye prefix pe access rahega, uh, data load. So after that, whatever I create, it will have access. And I'm just going to save this. Just want to confirm uh, on the role side, uh, we use the same policy. So role check just it modified anything in to change here. Uh, no, I hope this principle. Hit it. Okay. Uh, policy attach or on policy modify key. There are two entities into it. Let's go back to the snowflake and execute it. This allowed location is not modified yet. Let me regenerate it. For right now, what I'll do, I'll just create under this so that uh, we get an access. We can modify th this update it uh, let me update inside create s3 I think we need a right access here as well. So it stage is created here. For right now, I just change it to able to write into this data load. Uh, but we can root location pe rakh sakte, sample data pe rakh sakte. We need to modify the state, uh, storage integration. Now I'll go back and so our stage create ho gaya. This stage is we created for getting the data out from Snowflake. Okay. And it's a name stage. So as it's a name stage, it must have created a database object here. Okay. Uh, now, what is the next step? So I'm look load ke time pe kya karte te? copy into. Right. If you see, we used to do copy into uh, the snowflake tables. Yaha pe hume ulta karna hai, right? So we have to get it out of the snowflake. 
So what I'll do, I'll just write copy uh, into this location and this is my stage location. I'll just keep the prefix name under that it, and uh, table name is sales. Just want to make sure data hai table mein. Sales table, is there any data? Yep, there is uh, 2,800 records. Okay, so it read it, these many records. This is my input and output byte size. I'll go to the S3. <clears throat> and you can see this file D1000 dot csv dot gzen uh, which got created today uh, and this is the file size so how, that's how we downloaded the data from snowflake to the external stage and there if you see there is no internal stage got created uh, it's an external stage it is directly writing to s3 right now, there is another option ye via name stage. Tha. Another option is you can directly write a copy into if you already have an access to, if it's a public bucket, and if you have access to write it, you can write directly write it to here. You don't have to. So I'm talking about this part. Right? You can directly. We also saw this path when we saw on the loading ke time pe kya dekha tha, you can directly write into the uh, bucket or uh, sorry you can directly write to snowflake table uh, without using the inter external stage or without creating a stage Kaise? you can if you already have an access you can get it or if you using the access key uh, and given by the bucket the AWS account access key and secret key, you can directly write it. Similarly, you can directly write out from Snowflake uh, using copy into statement if you already have an access to write it with the uh, right access to the bucket or secret ID. That are the two options you can write directly. Otherwise, use the storage integration and write it to the external storage. Any issue here? Any doubt, any question? Yes, no. Or abhi hum log just AWS dekh rahe, uh, for Azure and anything, it's the same, except aapko wo access change karna prega. The way you change it, uh, the storage integrator, the storage integrator will be a different in that case. Are you so far with me? Yes. 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 Okay, now ye uh, okay external stage. Se. How we do with the internal stage? Data unloading with the internal stage. Again, we have three methods because we do have three different stages. Kon kon se stages hai?
कौन कौन से करेक्ट यूजर स्टेज टेबल स्टेज एंड नेम स्टेज एंड ऑल थ्री आर इंटरनल स्टेजेस सो हमने लोडिंग आई थिंक यू आर एबल टू सी इट आई जस्ट जूम इट सो लोडिंग का ये डायग्राम है लोडिंग में हमने क्या देखा यू हैव अ स्टेज यू कैन क्रिएट अ नेम्ड इंटरनल स्टेज एंड राइट इट फर्स्ट स्टेज इज यूजर स्टेज यूजर स्टेज में यू गेट इट इन टू द यूजर लोकेशन एंड अगेन यू कैन सी दिस बॉक्स इज इंटरनल सो दैट इज कमिंग हियर एज इंटरनल राइट तीनों स्टेज जो है वो इंटरनल है इट क्रिएटेड कॉपी फाइल गेट कॉपीड फ्रॉम यूजर स्टेज यूजर लोकेशन लोकल फाइल सिस्टम to the internal stage location and then get loaded the copy into the statement to the snowflake table for table stage it sits on top of of the table the table name and stage name should be the same and then you write it into copy into statement to write to the table uh, then you create a name stage name internal stage and then you put the file into that stage and then you copy that into the tables we are doing the reverse now we have the table if it's a user stage you copy into the stage location and then you do the get so yahan pe put hai yahan pe get hai similarly for table stage you copy into the stage and then get it downloaded on from that stage to the local file system and you can also use the name stage and get it downloaded to the uh, local file system by using the get statement uh let's see how we can do that i'm just going to use the same file format and other thing to get it downloaded okay so i'll just copy this and modify based on our values okay uh i'll just modify here can i execute this from uh here ui se main execute kar sakta hu kya ye get statement no the reason is that because it's user ui will not understand this i have to execute it through cli okay so uh, stage create karte hain uh, one more thing i can use the stage that i have used in loading that is the one thing so let's do that uh hum loading ka stage kaise use kar sakte so you know we created a stage uh sales name stage banaya tha humne if you remember i can use that one so so assume that i have this sales use stage and in which i have used the file format so i can skip this part okay and i can copy into this stage name which is sales name okay and just say unload unload pe main rakh sakta hu and from which table i want to get it into from sales is the table name okay so i want to get it into let me do it with cli because both the statement uh we want to run in cli okay so i paste it here copy into sales name under the unload directory from sales 
आई थिंक सेशन एक्सपायर हुआ होगा यप आई नीड टू ऑथेंटिकेट यू कैन सी दैट द रोज अनलोडेड एंड द साइज एंड अनलोड एज हैपन ओके uh how do i check now i can check with list oh i use the name stage sorry i use the name stage did we were looking at uh, this one using the named internal stage instead of user first i'm named internal dekh rahe so let's see list see kya kya hai isme i have this one i'm looking at listing of name and you can see that i have two files staged there one is under the this is load file correct and this is unload correct so i want to unload this now to so, aap batao mujhe ye file mujhe download karni hai local pe what statement i should use to download this file if i have to download this on a local what statement i should use okay suppose mujhe ye internal stage pe ye file ye table mein load karna hai to kaun sa statement use karta hu main so i copy into the snowflake internal stage now what i do to get it into the table format kaun sa statement use karta hu uh, did you get a question aapko sawal samajh mein aaya correct right to kaun sa statement main use karunga jisse ye data जो अपलोड लोकेशन पे बना है अनलोड लोकेशन पे बना है ये मैं डाउनलोड कर सकू मेरे लोकल फाइल लोकल सिस्टम पे उबन टू सिस्टम पे मैं डाउनलोड कर सकू कौन सा डेटा कौन सा स्टेटमेंट यूज करना पड़ेगा कौन सा कौन सा स्टेटमेंट करेक्ट पुट स्टेटमेंट राइट right? और अगर मैं ये लोड करना चाहता हूं तो कौन सा स्टेटमेंट यूज करता हूं सॉरी लोड करने के लिए कौन सा यूज करता हूं नो रिवर्स हो गया लोड करने के लिए पुट और अनलोड करने के लिए गिट गिट करेक्ट अगर लोड करना है तो पुट करता हूं अगर मुझे बाहर निकलना है तो गेट यूज करता हूं यस yes? yes i think it it is not too complicated it's very easy put and copy into copy into and then get reverse to aapko and do scenario aapko agar mind mein wo map ready ho gaya ki acha whether it's a snowflake mein loading unloading hai do do topic hai loading mein hamara jo rehta hai wo फर्स्ट स्टेप होता है पुट जहां से आप फाइल उठाते हैं इंटरनल स्टोरेज में रखते हैं देन यू गेट यू यूज कॉपी इनटू टू पुट मूव द डेटा इनटू स्नोफ्लेक टेबल डन अनलोडिंग में क्या होता है यू गेट इट फ्रॉम टेबल कॉपी इनटू द स्टेज इंटरनल स्टेज पे एंड वहां से आप गेट यूज करते हो डाउनलोड करने के लिए ओके okay? ये लोडिंग अनलोडिंग हो गया ना उसमें दो टाइप है वेदर लोडिंग और अनलोडिंग एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्नल स्टेज से और इंटरनल स्टेज से एक्सटर्नल स्टेज में इजी है नथिंग इट जस्ट ओनली कॉपी इनटू स्टेज इफ यू आर यूजिंग द इंटरनल स्टेज 
एंड देन गेट इट गेट तो नहीं है उसमें ओके बट इन उसमें भी दो टाइप है डायरेक्ट अप इन टू एक्सटर्नल स्टेज एंड यू विल हैव इट ऑन द एस थ्री या तो फिर जस्ट राइट अ कॉपी इन टू नो इंटरनल नो एक्सटर्नल स्टेज क्रिएटेड एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट डायरेक्टली गेट ऑन एस थ्री इंटरनल स्टेज में तीन टाइप है यूजर स्टेज है नेम स्टेज है एंड यू हैव अ टेबल स्टेज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ये स्टेज ही नेम स्टेज ही यूज होता है तो उसमें क्या करते हैं यू गेट इट इन टू कॉपी इन टू द स्टेज तो स्नोफ्लेक के इंटरनल लोकेशन में स्टोरेज में वो कॉपी होगा एंड देन फ्रॉम देर यू गेट इट सो आपके माइंड में वो मैप अगर तैयार हो गया तो डजेंट मैटर आप कभी भूल नहीं पाओगे जस्ट विजुअलाइज दैट दिस टू डायग्राम एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली एक्सप्लेन टू यू कंफ्यूजन नहीं होगा okay so i'll go ahead and write a get statement copy karta hu get stage ka naam kaun sa hai hamara aur लोकेशन uh, क्या है अनलोड और uh, ये पूरा ये फाइल का नाम लेना चाहिए ओके एंड आई वांट इट एट फाइल गोलन ट्रिपल सी आई नीड टू गेट इट द नेम अनलोड डिरेक्टरी बना लेता हूँ बेस्ट्री लोकेशन पे सो सॉरी लोकल लोकेशन पे सो यहाँ पे मैं गया एंड आई हैव दिस वन दिस वन आई हैव वर्क स्पेस आई हैव प्रोजेक्ट्स इनटू दैट स्क्रैप फोल्डर और इस स्क्रैप फोल्डर में मैं एक फोल्डर बनाता हूँ अनलोड और इस पे ये फाइल कॉपी कर दो फिर आफ्टर स्क्रैप सॉरी आफ्टर स्क्रैप यू आर गेटिंग अ माउंट फोल्डर यू मेंटी फोल्डर एंड देन अपलोड अनलोड सो आफ्टर स्क्रैप वी हैव टू राइट अनलोड फोल्डर ना सॉरी आई डिडंट गेट यू Uh, whatever path you had written, a file path that you had written after scrap, you had written the empty folder. Oh, after okay. scrap, there is yeah. unload folder. Yes. Yeah. So scrap, uh, unload, and I'll run this command. Path does not exist. Just a minute. It says unload does not exist. Take a minute. Uh, I need to quit this and get it the new one session.
đấy So I think we just have to remove this. So it will copy all the content from there. Let's download it. I have this file, and you can see that this file is downloaded. Uh, so all the files that are under downloaded download from the stage, and you, you can see that it's the CSV dot zz file. You have the extension zz name, but file type is zz. When you open it, uh, it's a compressed file, but you can extract and get the data out of that. Okay. So I have downloaded the data using the named internal stage. Now, how I can do it, the download the data with the table stage or using uh, the name sta user stage is the same way. We already have created, uh, we can copy it into, let me get it into the table stage. So I have First, I'll put it into the notepad just to modify the statements. Okay, so uh, this is the table. I think I'll just create it under uh, sales and unload from table sales. Okay file format we we'll use the file format uh, that is already there No compression humne none raka. So we don't want to compress it and we'll get it under the sales unload. Uh, this is the data file and then we download it at the same location. I'll just delete 
this file from here just to get it. Now I'll copy this. Okay, I have. So, many abhi we have this seals table namespace. Sorry, seals table stage. Uh, and I have created, want to get it from the table, which is sales table. Sales table say table stage use karke unload me copy karega. And from the with the file format, sales data file format, we specify the compression no and we'll get it as a file so i got it as file just now what i should use to see the content of the table names table internal stage calls a statement use guru man mujhe agar ye sales table stage hai iska content dekhna hai to kya kaun sa statement use guru Sorry, which one? So I'll repeat my question one more time. Ye sales table stage hai, table internal stage hai. Uska content mujhe dekhna hai. Abhi to kya hua? Table se data copy hua. Kis me copy hua? It copied into the sales internal table stage pe copy hua. Now, mujhe iska content dekhna hai ki table stage me internal stable stage me kya kaun kaun se file hai. File copy hua ya nahi hua. To kaun sa statement me use karu? Yes. Correct. So, I'll use the list at the rate percent sign sales. So, it will give me the two files which is again it was loading ke liye tha ye unload ke liye tha so i can see the content 26 december the file is here now we need to get it downloaded so download ke liye i use a get statement uh, so get from table stage to my local location get from table stage from unload location to the location on the local file system. So I execute this and the file is downloaded. But if you see, we will already have that file in the stage. Stage say download key matlab ye copy hua. Stage me vese ke vese rahega. What I should use to remove this from internal stage? Which statement, concept statement use karke mein isko remove kar sakta hu? Can anybody tell? Aapko questions samaj mein aaya? RM. RM. RM सीखा है हमने मैं आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट रिमूविंग इट आफ्टर डाउनलोड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट रिमूविंग इट फ्रॉम द स्टेज स्नोफ्लेक इंटरनल स्टेज पे ये फाइल कहां पे है स्नोफ्लेक पे ये मेरे सिस्टम पे नहीं है राइट right? दिस ये क्या बोल रहा है मुझे ये फाइल मेरे सिस्टम में नहीं है ये फाइल स्टेज में है मतलब ये फाइल इट ये लोकेशन पे ये लोकेशन पे करेक्ट ये वाली बोल रहा हूं मैं अगर टेबल स्पेस है टेबल स्टेज है तो यहां पे यूजर स्टेज है तो यहां पे है इंटरनल है तो यहां पे है तो अगर मुझे ये क्योंकि ये स्पेस ले रहा है ये ब्लू बॉक्स जो देख रहे हो आप ये स्नोफ्लेक है तो ये स्नोफ्लेक का स्पेस ले रहा है स्टोरेज प्लेस स्नोफ्लेक बैकएंड में S3 बकेट यूज कर रहा है तो मुझे वो S3 से फाइल डाउन डिलीट करनी है मैंने डाउनलोड कर लिया फाइल राइट अभी मुझे जो स्टेज पे फाइल है वो डिलीट करना है तो वो डिलीट करने के लिए मुझे कौन सा स्टेटमेंट यूज करना पड़ेगा 
हमने देखा है क्या ऐसा कोई स्टेटमेंट दो या तीन मेथड देखिए कल कि डिलीट करना है तो कौन सा यूज करो राइट आई कैन यूज द पर्च ऑप्शन अनदर अगर स्टेटमेंट यूज करना है ऑप्शन की जगह पे मुझे स्टेटमेंट यूज करना है तो कौन सा यूज करो रिमूव स्टेज नेम करेक्ट आई कैन यूज अ रिमूव स्टेटमेंट सो आई कैन हैव अ रिमूव एंड आई कैन गिव द स्टेज नेम ओके एंड अनलोड ओके okay, आपने एक नोटिस किया फाइल कौन से फॉर्मेट में स्टोर हुई है हमारे स्टेज में सी एस वी वाई नॉट सी एस वी डॉट जी जी क्यों नहीं बनी सी एस वी डॉट जी जी जब मैंने यूजर और नेम स्टेज बनाया था तो उसमें तो सी एस वी डॉट जी जी बनी थी बट इसमें सीएसवी क्यों बनी लिस्टिंग ये फाइल अभी नहीं है अनलोड फाइल चली गई ओ डिड वी डाउनलोडेड इट या राइट वी डिट just to confirm yeah so you can see now the downloaded file is csv file and the get statement used kiya or get statement mein ye file download hua as we have not used the compression so copy into me compression na use kiya tha to it directly get at the csv okay ye name uh, sorry table stage se download kiya humne now let's download with the user stage okay so again the process is simple you need to copy into just get it from there हम लोग ये देख रहे हैं आप पे अनलोडिंग डेटा टू यूजर स्टेज ओके सो आई गेट इट हियर लेट्स मॉडिफाई इट आई वांट टू डाउनलोड अंडर द यूजर अंडर द अनलोड लोकेशन फ्रॉम टेबल सेल्स एंड फाइल फॉर्मेट आई हैव सेल्स फाइल फॉर्मेट कॉम्प्रेशन इस टाइम पे हम कॉम्प्रेशन ऑन रखते हैं डिफॉल्ट बिहेवियर ऑफ इट सो वी कैन गेट इट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू गेट इट टू द लोकल लोकेशन अंडर ऑन लोड ओके लेट सी अभी हम कौन सा स्टेज देख रहे हैं इसमें ये डायग्राम में से कौन सा देख रहे हैं विच वन वी आर लुकिंग एट कैन एनी बडी टेल ये डायग्राम में से देख रहे हैं या ये डायग्राम में ये जो स्टेप देख रहे हैं हम लोग कौन से देख रहे हैं कौन सा देख रहे हैं वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन आर वी लुकिंग एट दिस तुम कौन सा सीनारियो देख रहे हैं अमित अमित ओके राकेश गोयल ये सिनेरियो देख रहे क्या हम लोग नहीं वी आर लुकिंग एट इंटरनल ओके इंटरनल में ये देख रहे क्या हम लोग ये डायग्राम में से देख रहे क्या सर ये डायग्राम व्हाट रिप्रेजेंट दिस डायग्राम ये डायग्राम क्या कर रहा है कौन सा एक्सप्लेन कर रहा है हमें लोडिंग लोडिंग ओके ये अनलोडिंग का देख रहे हैं ये अनलोडिंग में 
तीन सिनारियो है ये तीन सिनारियो में से कौन सा सिनारियो देख रहे हैं हम लोग अभी कैन यू एक्सप्लेन कौन सा सीन और कौन कौन से देखे हमने कौन कौन से सिनारियो देखे so we have completed a table and a name and are looking for user correct yes uh, please agar aapko samajh mein i mean uh, difficult lag raha hai ya fir practice nahi hai so i can work more uh, i can share the notes before the call or so that aapko familiar rahega ki hum kya seekhne wale hai aisa uh, ye already upload kiya tha maine git pe but few people does not have access um एनी डॉक्यूमेंट आई शेयर थ्रू गेट तो सेंट्रल लोकेशन में रहेगा वो बेनिफिट होगा हमें उसका सो वी आर लुकिंग एट अनलोडिंग एंड वी हैव लुक्ड एट द नेम ये सीनारियो हमने देख लिया वी लुक्ड एट दिस सीनारियो विच इज टेबल स्टेज एंड नाउ वी आर लुकिंग एट अ यूजर स्टेज डाउनलोड फ्रॉम यूजर स्टेज so that's what i'm doing and execute my statement so it downloaded the file uh, i just want to list the user state i say at the rate and this so it will list me all so there is no file okay zero rows process anyways a uh, pattern just want to make sure how um, there is a whole pattern uh, date statement i had written just at the rate sorry in gate statement we had just written at the rate sign oh okay तो वो नेम स्टेज हो गया यस आई थिंक कॉपी इनटू आई विल जस्ट फर्स्ट यूज अ कॉपी इनटू स्टेटमेंट एंड आई हैव इट ऐड द रेट सो व्हाट आई एम डूइंग राइट नाउ सेल्स टेबल है सेल्स टेबल का डेटा कॉपी इनटू किस में कॉपी करो कॉपी इनटू द यूजर स्टेज यूजर स्टेज के अंदर अनलोड फोल्डर में कॉपी करो फाइल फॉर्मेट कौन सा यूज करो यूज द सेल्स डेटा फाइल फॉर्मेट कॉम्प्रेशन नन रखो मैं कॉम्प्रेशन हटा देता हूं सो जस्ट वांट टू टेल डिफॉल्ट बिहेवियर यूज करता हूं सो ओके now what it is doing right now it is copying this table from here to here ye stage mein copy kar raha under the user stage so okay i run this statement so it got copied just list it now list the local um so user stage stage mein hum bol raha hai ki aapka data yahan pe hai now to get that data on local system i'll use the get statement get this data from user stage so for user i'll put the at the rate Tilda uh, sign, sorry. Unload and data dot csv dot gz is the file name. Here it's you can see, and you want to download at this location. I just want to confirm. ये file में delete कर देता हूँ. Okay. And I'm just running get statement. तो मैं कौन सा step run कर रहा हूँ? मैंने यहाँ से यहाँ पे ले लिया. और यहां से यहां पे लेने के लिए मैं गेट स्टेटमेंट यूज कर रहा हूं 
so i downloaded it and now you can see that the file is downloaded i just want to check the user stage may file con con si happy so still i can see this file is there i want to remove this file so i'll write remove at the rate tilde and i can write pattern so that it can remove the file it remove the file again do the listing there is nothing in the stage user stage mein kuch nahi hai. and i want to confirm yes it downloaded the file in csv.gz format and i have downloaded so that is about the data unloading okay data unloading via internal stage now uh, next topic i want to just explain about uh, the snow pipe uh, there are two flavors of it a snow pipe streaming and snow fly pipe a batch so abhi humne kya dekha agar kuch bhi file aati hai whether it's a loading so let's say loading ke liye uh, okay for loading let's take the external one this one snow pipe so what mujhe kya karna padta hai i need to copy it and then put put ya copy jo bhi hai mujhe khud run karna padta hai agar file yahan pe hai kisi ne file yahan pe rakhi to automatically trigger nahi hota so for example s3 hai s3 pe kisi ne file rakhi to automatically wo copy into table mein nahi hota so someone has to do it right so snow pipe kya karta hai it automates that thing agar kisi ne file place ki automatically copy into hoga copy into hone ke baad table generate hoga so that's what snow pipe does so snow pipe enables the loading of a data files as soon as someone place those files in the stage available rahega so it will automatically sense and automatically trigger the copy uh or ye kya hoga the copy the files into micro batches again it's not a real time it's a batch as soon as file lands into that location it is get triggered to load into the snowflake table rather than manually executing copy statement um okay now there are different mechanism for detecting the stage files which are available either automating snow pipe using cloud messaging or calling snow pipe rest api okay uh uske liye i'll just show one diagram and then we'll stop and we'll see the interview thing uh there is a very good diagram on the document Okay, I'll expand this. So, इसमें क्या होता है अगर किसी ने फाइल रखी एस थ्री पे ओके तो ऑटोमेटिकली इवेंट ट्रिगर होगा and i'll explain usme kon kon se service use hoti hai have you studied about sqs simple queue service no sir no sir okay uh, sns notification service no sir okay no, sir. so uh, doesn't matter uh, 
एनीथिंग स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा आपको पता है एनी यूज केस ऑफ स्ट्रीम अभी तक आपने बैच डेटा देखा होगा बैच डेटा पाइपलाइन मतलब आ, किसी ने फाइल एक्सट्रैक्ट किया फाइल का डेटा लोड किया ओके बट वॉट अबाउट आप एटीएम जाते हो एटीएम से पैसा विड्रॉ करते हो राइट right? तो नाउ आपने सपोज यू आर इन इंडिया दस मिनट पहले या पांच मिनट पहले आपने इंडिया से पैसे विड्रॉ किए राइट right? और नेक्स्ट ट्रांजेक्शन होता है जहां पे लेट से नाइजीरिया से किसी ने विड्रॉ किया पैसा या फिर ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन हुआ नाइजीरिया से राइट सो इट मीन्स इट्स अ फ्रॉड लर्न करेक्ट ये ट्रांजेक्शन फ्रॉड है बिकॉज आप अगर फिजिकली प्रेजेंट हो इंडिया में और नाइजीरिया में ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन होता है इट मीन्स समथिंग इज पीसी तो आपको वो ट्रांजेक्शन रियल टाइम में कैप्चर करना है रियल टाइम में डिटेक्ट करना है और अप्रूव करना है या नहीं करना है अगर अप्रूव करना है तो यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड अ सिक्योरिटी ओटीपी भेजो ओके तो ये यू नीड टू डिसाइड रियल टाइम दैट इज द वन सिनारियो सेकेंड सिनारियो ऐसा नाउ दिस इज अबाउट द बैंकिंग द वन एग्जाम्पल आई गेव टू यू सेकेंड सिनारियो है लेट uh, से आपका कोई ऑयल रिग है मीनिंग यू आर द ओनर ऑफ ऑयल रिफाइनरी और ऑयल रिफाइनरी आर वेरी कॉस्टली करेक्ट उसमें एक पंप है कुछ मशीन है जो ऑयल पंप करता है ना व्हाट हैपन देर आर वाइब्रेशंस मशीन अलाइनमेंट ठीक नहीं है कुछ नहीं है तो मशीन वाइब्रेट कर रहा है एंड सो यू वांट टू डिटेक्ट अगर मशीन का वाइब्रेशन वो एक इंच या एक सेंटीमीटर से ज्यादा अगर वाइब्रेट करता है सो यू शुड स्टॉप इट सो दैट मशीन फेल ना हो या तो फिर इट शुड जनरेट एन अलर्ट सो दैट वाइब्रेशन डेटा इट शुड सेंड कंटिन्यूसली एंड योर प्रोसेस शुड चेक दैट वाइब्रेशन कितना है अगर वाइब्रेशन एक सेंटीमीटर के ऊपर जाता है तो इट शुड सेंड एन अलर्ट अगर वाइब्रेशन डेढ़ सेंटीमीटर के ऊपर जाता है तो इट शुड शट ऑफ दैट पम्प ओके दैट इज सेकेंड सिनारियो थर्ड सिनारियो लेट से मोशन डिटेक्टर है लेट से यू आर आउटसाइड समवेयर आपने कैमरा रखा है एंड कोई सस्पिशियस एक्टिविटी होता है सो यू वॉन्ट टू मॉनिटर दैट सो इन दैट सस्पिशियस एक्टिविटी it will continuously send the messages and you need to detect that message uh, and generate an alert so ye streaming ke example ho gaye jahan pe continuous data aata rahega you need to continuously process it so what are the streaming methods uh, kafka of course kafka is uh, apache kafka is a open source uh, mechanism second is uh, confluent kafka so what confluent company has done get uh, got that uh, pre version and they modified it and selling they are selling that uh, with the some things so these are the um, example where jaha pe streaming data use hota hai yahan pe aap batch data use nahi kar sakte matlab aapka transaction ho gaya और एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आप डिटेक्ट कर रहे हो ये सस्पिशियस ट्रांजेक्शन है या नहीं तो कुछ फायदा नहीं आपका पंप वाइब्रेशन कर रहा है फेल हो गया और फिर आप नाइट में जब बैच फाइल क्रिएट होती है देन यू आर डिटेक्टिंग अरे हाँ मशीन इतना वाइब्रेट किया फिर वो फेल हो उसका कुछ फायदा नहीं है राइट इट विल जस्ट टेल यू वेन इट फेल वाई इट फेल बट इट विल नॉट alert you before the things happening so that is the example of streaming uh ye streaming nahi hai the one diagram i am showing here it's not a streaming ye just automating the pipeline hai. so snowflake streaming bhi hai jahan pe it can get the data from streams into the snowflake uh, we are also going to see that so snowflake pipe kya karta hai it's automating the data load process in short 
ओके सो उसमें कौन कौन से कंपोनेंट इन्वॉल्व होंगे सो जब भी फाइल एस थ्री पे ड्रॉप होगा एक इवेंट ट्रिगर होगा इवेंट ट्रिगर होने के बाद नोटिफिकेशन uh, जाएगा एंड देर विल बी द इंजेस एस क्यू एस क्यू रहेगा वो क्यू को स्नोफ्लेक सब्सक्राइब करेगा और वो क्यू से हम ट्रिगर करेंगे द कॉपी इन टू स्टेटमेंट एंड देन विल लोड द डेटा इन टू द स्नो फ्लेक ओके हैव यू स्टडीड द एस थ्री यस सर ओके एस थ्री बकेट जो है इस उसमें आपने ये ऑप्शन देखे क्या एक्सप्लोर किया है सो ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज यू हैव लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑप्शन ओके तो कौन कौन से है बकेट वर्जनिंग यू मस्ट नो अबाउट द वर्जनिंग ऑफ अ बकेट करेक्ट यस ऑब्जेक्ट का वर्जन बनाता है वो एंड यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल वर्जन ऑफ इट यू कैन हैव अ लाइफ साइकिल पॉलिसी की कितने वर्जन रखना है कितने दिन के लिए रखना है एंड uh, अगर मुझे रिट्राइव करना है कौन सा वर्जन हाउ आई कैन रिट्राइव दैट इट्स बेसिक सिंपल कमांड टू रिट्राइव द वर्जन टैक्स यू मस्ट नो द टैक्स then encryption also you know you can have the encryption uh, the sse uh, server side encryption or you can also use the keys also okay mm -hmm. then you have intelligence tiering mm -hmm. intelligence tier may you don't have to specify uh, the bucket life cycle automatically jo aap object aap use nahi kar rahe ho wo object ko glacier mein bhej dega you don't have to aapka brain use karne ki zarurat nahi hai जस्ट कॉन्फिगर इंटेलिजेंस टीयरिंग वो हिसाब से ये कॉस्ट रिड्यूस में आपका फायदा करेगा ओके टीयरिंग यू नो राइट यस सर सो अब इस तरीके अलग अलग टीयर है स्टैंडर्ड रियर देन यू हैव ग्लेशियर करेक्ट इनफ्रीक्वेंट एक्सेस सो इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली मैनेज फॉर यू पहले ये ऑप्शन नहीं था सो यूजर हैज टू मैन्युअली राइट इट देन यू हैव सर्वर एक्सेस लॉग इन किसने एक्सेस किया एस थ्री बकेट कहाँ से एक्सेस किया तो ये लॉग क्लाउड वॉच में जाएगा दैट इज द अदर थिंग देन यू कैन हैव अ क्लाउड ट्रेल यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्लाउड वॉच एंड क्लाउड ट्रेल राइट ओके सो उसमें कुछ इवेंट्स है uh, ये लॉग हो के क्लाउड वॉच क्लाउड एनीथिंग यू डू ऑन ए डब्ल्यू एस इज लॉग अंडर द क्लाउड ट्रेल राइट एनीथिंग दैट यू डू ऑन ए डब्ल्यू एस इफ यू वांट टू डू सम मेट्रिक्स दैट कैन आल्सो बी लॉग इन टू क्लाउड वॉच मेट्रिक्स मतलब बकेट का साइज कितना है कितने बकेट है देर इज वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इवेंट नोटिफिकेशन सो दिस इज वॉट वी विल यूज इवेंट नोटिफिकेशन क्या करता है अगर किसी ने एस थ्री पे ऑब्जेक्ट मतलब फाइल कॉपी की सो इट विल ट्रिगर द इवेंट एंड दैट इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज मतलब किसी ने फाइल रखी है एस थ्री पे और मुझे स्नोफ्लेक पाइपलाइन ट्रिगर करना है सो इन दैट केस दिस इवेंट नोटिफिकेशन विल बी यूज so we can create a notification notification ka naam likhenge kaun se prefix pe kaun si file dali so agar koi csv file dalta hai to it should do what it should trigger an event so what are the events i want put agar kisi ne file rakhi okay file create ki hai rakhi s3 pe it should trigger it should it should trigger either lambda function और आइदर एस एन एस टॉपिक नोटिफिकेशन देगा कि यस ये ये लोकेशन पे फाइल मिली ये लैमडा फंक्शन अगर किसी ने फाइल रखी तो मुझे ऑटोमेटिकली कॉपी फाइल कन्वर्टर एप्लीकेशन बनाना है जेपीजी का पीएनजी फाइल बनाना है तो वो फंक्शन यूज करेगा या तो फिर पीडीएफ बनाना है तो वो फंक्शन लैमडा फंक्शन में आप वो कोड लिखोगे या तो फिर नोटिफिकेशन की हाँ ये फाइल रिसीव हुआ या तो फिर क्यू में डालोगे So this is what we are going to use, and we are going to use the queue service, which is let's say S3. Or, ये मैंने बनाया था, so that's why you'll see here. 
uh, or you can specify the SN SQS uh, yeah, red. So we'll see that in detail. Uh, what it will do, जब भी आपका file drop होता है, तो आप S3 पे ये property configure करोगे event notification, event notification SQS में जाएगा, वो node event create करेगा कि एक file आई, वो एक file आने के बाद uh, there will be a process to ingest SQS queue, वो trigger करेगा copy into statement uh, and then it will load the data into the Snowflake table. So, जैसे ही file drop होगी, ये लो execute होगा. Okay? And for that, we'll, we create a Snowpipe. So, Snowpipe कैसे create करते हैं? So, on Snowflake, we already saw this. Uh, on, let me go back to the databases. It's again an object of database. Okay. So here you can see the snow pipe. You can create a snow pipe. There is a, a command for that. Snow pipe, create pipe, pipe name, auto ingest, true, uh, SNS topic. So we need to create a topic in uh, Snowflake and integration. Of course, we need to give the S3 uh, uh, so AWS integration and it will, we need to add it here, copy statement. Once we add the copy statement, as if we auto ingest, agar true rakha or kisi ne file dali, file dalne ke baad, uh, notification aega, notification se, uh, sorry, queue mein jayega, event notification aega and notification se topic में ये सब इसको सब्सक्राइब करेंगे हम लोग SNS टॉपिक को SNS टॉपिक विल ट्रिगर योर कॉपी इनटू स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज़ इट्स अ ऑटो इंजेस सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इट इन डिटेल ये हो गया हमारा स्नो पाइप व्हिच इज ऑटोमेटिंग योर एग्जीक्यूशन बट देयर इज अ स्नो स्ट्रीमिंग आल्सो तो स्नो स्ट्रीमिंग में एक्चुअली विल गेट अ स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा Kafka, just a minute, Bula Kafka messaging and other thing will get it the data from there. Very interesting, very interesting use cases. Hai. Um, any question? Yeah, happy. I'll just put that diagram to differentiate uh, between snow uh, pipe and streaming. Okay, that ye hamarata. This will explain you better. Ye hamarata snow pipe, which is auto ingest. Correct? File kissin. Are you able to follow me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ye kiata. Amne ye scenario deka. Kissin a file raki or auto automatically ingest hoga. It's not a streaming data. But this is the what we are looking. Ye kafka hai. Kafka से मैं S3 सिंग सॉरी कापका कनेक्ट सिंग कनेक्टर रखूँगा ये टॉपिक रहेगा ये टॉपिक से डेटा uh, आता रहेगा एंड देन uh, ये पाइप रहेगा स्नो पाइप यू विल पुट इट इनटू द स्टेजिंग टेबल एंड यू कैन दिस इज बेसिकली डूइंग द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट यू कैन गेट इट इनटू द स्टेजिंग टेबल डेटा डायरेक्टली इनटू स्टेजिंग टेबल्स राइट दैट्स व्हाट वी विल डू so copy into statement and other thing. So Kafka ke alag alag uh, topics rehenge, topics ke andar messages rehenge and we'll subscribe to that uh, message and topics to get that data into the snowflake. Okay. 
इंटरेस्टिंग है बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग सिनारियो है विल सी देर एंड आपके रिज्यूम में इट्स इट्स अप टू यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड इट इन योर रिज्यूमे बट इफ यू एड इट यू मेक श्योर यू नो अबाउट इट एंड यू डू इट तो अगर आपने ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट नहीं है इफ यू डू इट यू कैन एक्सप्लेन और जो इंटरव्यूअर है ही विल बी इम्प्रेस्ड दैट येस यू नो दिस कंसेप्ट सो इफ यू कैन वट एवर यू कैन अचीव आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव यू हंड्रेड परसेंट डजेंट मैटर यू हैव टू ग्रास हंड्रेड परसेंट बट वट एवर यू ग्रास मेक श्योर यू ग्रास इट हंड्रेड परसेंट इफ यू जस्ट फोकस सिक्सटी परसेंट दैट्स फाइन बट वो सिक्सटी परसेंट कंटेंट का पूरा हंड्रेड परसेंट लो हैव अ परफेक्शन देर तो कुछ इश्यू नहीं है अगर आप को बोलेगा आपने स्नो पाइप यूज किया है अगर आप नहीं बोलोगे दैट्स फाइन जस्ट टेल दैट ये आई हर्ड अबाउट इट इट जस्ट फॉर ऑटोमेशन बट आई हैव नॉट यूज दैट डन अगर इफ यू नो इट इफ यू हैव डन इट देन कॉन्फिडेंटली से येस आई डी डिट एंड एक्सप्लेन द सीनारियो कि आपने कहा पे यूज किया okay so given that i stop here uh, and give some time for uh, prep for interview kaise attend karna hai kya bolna hai kya sawal rehte hai and whatever the questions you have um, we'll discuss that okay so now i'll start with very basic question generally main agar interview re- leta hu so or even any person so generally first कौन कौन से राउंड होता है वो हम लोग डिस्कस करते हैं टॉकिंग आई जस्ट आल्सो राइट सो दैट हम लोग सो सो जनरली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आपने रिज्यूम बनाया आपने अप्लाई किया सो so, पहला प्रोसेस होता है स्क्रीनिंग वो स्क्रीनिंग प्रोसेस में दे लुक एट योर रिज्यूम फॉर ईच ऑफ पोजीशन देर इज जीडी जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन रहता है ओके so what they do in uh, j first round of interview jab hr ke paas interview jata hai they they are non technical person they just highlight on keywords okay to so, unko job description mein diya rehta hai python uh, candidate should know python candidate should know good at aws candidate should be good at building the data pipeline हाई लेवल ये कीवर्ड्स रहते हैं सो दे ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट दो कीवर्ड्स इन टू रिज्यूम योर रिज्यूम में तो फर्स्ट क्या है आपको आपके रिज्यूम में वो कीवर्ड्स डालने हैं मतलब हाईलाइट करो सो फर्स्ट सेक्शन जो होता है आपके रिज्यूम का उसमें समरी रहता है राइट बिफोर द प्रोजेक्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग उसमें आप हाईलाइट करो कि लेट से स्टार्ट विथ I'm having, let's say, three years of experience in building data pipeline on cloud. Uh, you can say uh, AWS, Azure, or GCP. Uh, work as a different role as a data engineer, team lead, uh, yeah, for architect, jo bi role up dena chahte ho, just have it. Then proficient into the programming, Python, Spicebug, Scala, or any other languages that you mentioned. Then third. लिखो कि प्रोफिशियंट इन यूजिंग द एडब्ल्यू एस सर्विसेस टू बिल्ड द पाइपलाइन एंड देन लिस्ट द एडब्ल्यू एस सर्विसेस एडब्ल्यू एस ई एम आर एडब्ल्यू एस बैच एडब्ल्यू एस ग्लू हाईलाइट दो बिकॉज एच आर लुक्स एट दैट की वर्ड्स ओनली ओके तो आपको कैसे पता चलेगा कि कौन से की वर्ड लिखना है यू कैन गूगल इट और यू कैन वट एवर वी आर स्टडिंग यू कैन राइट दोज की वर्ड्स ओके देन वो समरी सेक्शन इंपॉर्टेंट रहता है जिसमें एचआर स्क्रीनिंग करेगा तो उसको पता होना चाहिए यस दिस इज दिस पर्सन इज कीवर्ड मैच हो रहे ओके 
So that's the first thing. Any question here on screening the resume shortlist round? No, sir. No. Okay. Now, ye first ho gaya, they just do on the screening. Uh, second, uh, isme, I think the first I'll make it first sub bullet is uh, shortlist. Okay. Second, hota hai, aapka resume shortlist ho gaya, uh, and this is by HR. Then, HR kya karta hai? Once they shortlist this resume based on this keyword, uh, they schedule an interview. So, maybe before that, isme kya hota hai? First, HR talks to you. Shortlist hone ke baad, uh, they want to schedule an interview, they will talk to you. So they will say, they will call you, I'm calling from this, this company. Generally, ye jo screening hota hai, resume screening. Uh, agar aap apply karo, let's say you applied for uh, a big company. Take an example, like Facebook may apply karta hai. So Facebook doesn't do this thing, they give third party. Uh, kuch consultancy rehte hai, shortlist rehte hai, unko dete hai, they just third uh, party ko dete hai, to wo call karte hai, then they will ask you what is your name, what is your location, what is year of experience you have. Then, iske uh, reason hai. They just want to make sure whatever you put in resume is the uh, correct one. Second thing, they want to evaluate how do you talk, uh, how's your communication, and kabi kabi kya hota hai ki uh, you don't need a job, so. You can say, oh, no, I already uh, changed my job. So they want to make sure before scheduling an interview, they want to make sure you are really looking for the job. And that's why and they might ask you about salary or designation or something like that in this round, uh, just to have for a paperwork. Okay. Then they schedule, if everything goes well, they schedule an interview. So they will say, okay, probably do do call ho sakte ya ek call ho sakte. They will schedule an interview. Aapka ye time pe interview hai, ye location pe either virtual ya physical aapko jana hai. They will mention into that round. Okay. Then the first uh, the first technical interview happens here. So generally, ye tech interview ko hon leta hai. Uh, let's say I'm a hiring manager. So hiring manager nahi leta first screening round. Uh, some big project pe jo other log hai, jinke paas time hai, uh, wo leta hai first technical interview. Maybe those are the actual developers jinko 5 saal, 7 saal, ya who is the team lead, they take that interview. Uh, basic sawal pooche jata hai isme. And good part is, the people who take this interview, sometimes they don't know because they are also learning. So, here benefit we have Suppose, five years ka experience. Hai. Someone has five years experience and he is a team lead or yeah, team member. Hai. So, uh, manager might ask to take the interview for this person or HR will ask. So, wo interview panel is uh, HR will ask forward that to these people so in this what happened uh, if the person doesn't know much he will ask the questions what he knows okay ye psychology hai. it's a human psychology aapko bhi kisak ka interview abhi mock interview diye rahenge aapne interview dete time aisa hi sawal puche honge jiska answer aapko pata hai right ऐसे सवाल आप पूछे पूछे नहीं होगे उनको जिन जो आपने फेस नहीं किए तो इसमें बेनिफिट ये होता है यू कैन ड्राइव दैट पर्सन सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द मेंटालिटी अगर वो बंदे ने स्नो पाइप किया नहीं है या काफ का पता नहीं है हियर इज समथिंग यू कैन डू यू कैन आस्क यस आई डिड काफ का एंड टॉक कॉन्फिडेंटली राइट तो आप 
अगर उसने सवाल उसके हिसाब से पूछे अगर वो बोलेगा ओके कैन यू टेल मी हाउ डू यू कॉल एन एपीआई इन स्नो फ्लेक एंड इफ यू डोंट नो बट यू नो स्नो पाइप जो उसको पता नहीं है सो so स्टिल उसके मन में इंप्रेशन क्या आता है कि अरे हाँ ये बंदे ने ये भी किया है ये बंदे को ये भी पता है जो मुझे पता नहीं है राइट सो ही विल से या दैट पर्सन वो फीडबैक क्या देगा यस दैट पर्सन लुक्स गुड एंड इट इज गुड टू प्रोसीड विद दैट ओके ये समझ में आया वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके अगर ये स्क्रीनिंग राउंड कंप्लीट हुआ तो सेकेंड टेक राउंड होता है और वो कौन लेता है ये तो कोई टेक्निकल बंदा लेता है या तो फिर मैनेजर लेता है जनरली दिस इज आल्सो अ टेक्निकल प्लस मैनेजर राउंड इसमें क्या पूछा जाता है द पर्सन हु टेक्स योर इंटरव्यू डजेंट नो कोडिंग और जो आप काम करोगे वो उसको पता नहीं रहेगा कभी कभी ही इज अ नॉन टेक्निकल पर्सन समटाइम्स समटाइम्स ही इज अ टेक्निकल पर्सन ही मे आस्क द टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन एंड ही डज नॉट एक्सपेक्ट यू to remember the syntax he does not expect you to uh, tell him the syntax exact answer and other thing what he checks is how mature you are matlab uh, agar wo puchega uh, you started you answered and then you said i i used to load the data and other thing so he will ask okay how much data you load with the uh, snowflake data load internal stage or external stage uh, then how what was the size of a data how much time it take what was the dependency uh, how you write a code uh, how to push the code to production uh, or how do you any ci cd pipeline use how do you use your credentials Uh, और हाउ डू यू मैनेज यूर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फाइल सो वो सवाल पूछेगा बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस जो यूज होती है वो सवाल पूछेगा ही विल नॉट आस्क द कोड okay so it will ask the process what are the different processes you follow then he may ask uh, about uh, performance he may ask about issues generally a question pucha jata hai ki which one is the most difficult problem you are able to solve and which one is the most uh, difficult problem which you were not able to solve how do you handle that situation ye pro ye hota hai so in general agar aapka ye interview mein second round mein ho gaya to 100% chances hai aapka third round mein ho jaye which is either hr uh, hr round generally non technical और दिस कैन बी टेकन अगेन बाय मैनेजर मैनेजर्स का मैनेजर लेता है अगर सीनियर पोजीशन है पांच साल सात साल दस साल तो मैनेजर का मैनेजर में भी डायरेक्टर या वीपी वीपी तो नहीं बट डायरेक्टर इंटरव्यू लेता है बट इन योर केस आई डोंट थिंक इट विल गो बियॉन्ड द मैनेजर बिकॉज यू मे हैव थ्री प्लस एक्सपीरियंस और समथिंग ओके एच क्या करेगा एच विल जस्ट मेक श्योर यू आर रेडी द पैकेज डिस्कस करेगा एक्सपेक्टेशन डिस्कस करेगा एंड इट विल मैच दैट टू द जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन मतलब जो पोजिशन है उसके लिए कितना पेमेंट देना है वो मैच करेगा सो जनरली थर्ड राउंड इज डन ऑफर लेटर मिल जाएगा कहीं कहीं टेक्निकल दो या तीन राउंड हो सकते हैं तीन नहीं बट दो हो सकते हैं समटाइम सम पीपल कुछ लोगों को आदत रहती है कि उनको लगता है कि मुझे पूछा नहीं सो दे मे गेट इन्वॉल्व हियर बट अगर आपका पहले राउंड में हो गया है तो नेक्स्ट इज जस्ट अ फॉर्मेलिटी थिंग सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस राउंड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
एंड ये तो मैंने इसके टिप मैंने दे दिए कि आ, क्या बताना है मैनेजर राउंड में आ, वो हाई लेवल पूछता है नॉट इन टू मोर डिटेल ओके नाउ दिस इज अबाउट द इंटरव्यू राउंड एनी क्वेश्चन हियर Any Hello, question sir. here? Yes. In tech interview means we have the uh, project explanation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Sir, yes. So, sir, I am asking that is it necessary mm -hmm. to give project uh, explanation in detail in uh, taking? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good question. Generally, your project. द अदर पर्सन अगर आधे घंटे का इंटरव्यू है जनरली आधे घंटे का रहता है पीपल डोंट गो फॉर वन आवर अनलेस दे हैव लॉट ऑफ टाइम अगर एक घंटे का भी इंटरव्यू डोंट एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट व्हेन यू गेट अ टाइम एक्सप्लेन इट्स इन स्क्रिप्ट वेरी शॉर्ट बट स्वीट एंड इजीली अंडरस्टैंड डोंट एक्सप्लेन टू मच इन डिटेल ओके मैं बताता हूं क्यों बिकॉज पीपल लूज इंटरेस्ट इफ यू एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट मोर देन अ मिनट आल्सो पीपल लूज एन इंटरेस्ट तो और मैंने इंटरव्यू में देखा है जब मैं इंटरव्यू लेता हूं कोई बंदा प्रोजेक्ट एक्सप्लेन करता है ना ही डजेंट स्टॉप ही कीप टेल टॉकिंग 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 एंड दैट डजेंट हेल्प टू मी वो बोलता है हाँ वी यूज टू हैव दिस टीम एंड वी यूज टू गेट अ डेटा वी हैड दिस इशू दिस प्रोसेस दिस रिटेल स्टोर वॉज दिस 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 मेनी स्टोर दिस मेनी डेटा दिस मेनी सो उसमें जो इंटरव्यूअर है ना ही डजेंट वॉन्ट टू नो दैट डिटेल फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट वॉट ही वॉन्ट वॉट यू हैव डन इन दैट प्रोजेक्ट ओके इन शॉर्ट लेट से let's uh, let me start with uh, as a interview so i am sitting at interview and interviewer ask me about the first question and i am also starting with the either the tech in this one with my juniors or either for manager so the any one first question they ask is tell me about yourself so have it in the story vesa banao aap so have it scripts clear and perfect so you can mention my name is this this i have uh, this many years of experience um i'm working uh, i have worked in a different roles i or you can start i'm working in this company right now um and i have uh, worked in different roles like data engineer or support person i started with let's say support and i then i for the six month then i was promoted or moved to the development team and since then i'm working as a data engineer um, my primary responsibilities are building the data pipeline to transfer the data from source to target or i'm building the data lake uh, i'm ingesting the data uh, batch data streaming data i'm ingesting the data in the snowflake um i have used aw different aws services name those services okay and i'm proficient i also use the cicd pipelines with practices to code uh, and you can mention like uh, code coverage in python uh, or you can mention the performance tuning on spark and mention that uh, how you did in a very short way that uh, like configuring the executors executor memory and other stuff doing the performance on the database on the snowflake side by clearing cluster creating cluster keys or uh, using virtual warehouses and other thing that you can mention and in my then you go on the current project or you can get one line or two line before you start your technicals you can mention currently i am working on the big program um you can say modernizing uh retail analytics solution is the name of my program and i'm part of 
uh, that we program uh, a pod member which consists 10 people and uh, the project is about building the uh, data platform for inventory management and then you explain your technicals okay that's it very so first about you your experience second about your uh, current company your rules third about your one or two lines for your project and rest of the part for your technicals uh, and that's what you stop there so jada bologe to interviewer bore ho jata hai agar aap story wise bologe aise split karke so it becomes uh, uske dimag mein bhi wo fit hota hai and then he can ask a question now main part is me tell me about yourself me rehta hai which technical your roles responsible that's the first thing he know about you okay so he doesn't want to know about your project but he want to know about you that's it once you stop तो वो रिवाइज उसके दिमाग में वो रिवाइज करता है या तो फिर जब आप बोलते हो वो कीवर्ड कैच करता है जब आप बोलोगे ओ आपने ये सर्विस यूज की है तो टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट इट वेयर डू यू यूज देन यू कैन एक्सप्लेन आई यूज दैट इन दिस टू गेट द डेटा एंड टू प्रोसेस इट देन ही विल से ओके ही विल आस्क अ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द आंसर यू गिव इन अ प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन अगर आप बोलोगे कि मैंने ईएमआर यूज किया and have something in that answer that let him to ask the another question jaise ki he will oh you use the emr good uh, tell me where you use so you can mention i use an emr to ingest the data from s3 to process in spice part and to load into the refine zone i perform different uh, refinement activities so if you stop here you will say oh which uh, refinement activities you perform on that data then you can tell oh i parse that data json data semi structured data flat file or streaming data then uh, apply some rules on top of that and then he will ask okay you did this thing tell me what you have done for the rejected records okay then you can tell whenever the, there is a rejection record we used to capture the rejection region in reason in the table and rejected file is sent alert is sent to uh, source system that these are reject these are the rejected look record here is the location and we used to have a uh, connect with them and they used to fix and they used to get the corrected data afterwards uh, and you can mention so that's how you end it there uh, then he will ask what are the different rules you have used you can say remove duplicates uh, format checker and other thing and you can say i build the reusable utility so uh, for any object i can use that then okay what are the other reusable util utilities you have used then you can say i use uh, i have created the reusable utility to connect to snowflake to connect to aws uh, or connect to vault or they say oh you use a vault for what purpose you use vault so see he is asking he will definitely ask the questions based on what you answer so you drive him whatever you know you and then there will be occasions where uh, you will be stuck for example you took the performance and he will say oh uh, tell me about how do you tune the uh for example how do you tune mm, like so, uh, this thing uh, lambda function suppose and you don't know so you can so uh i have not faced any issues but uh, i i don't know the answer then he will stop there and he can think of other items that you talk in in the previous answer then he will say okay but what happens if you give a wrong answer agar how to tune the uh, lambda functions uh, by you, you will make some answer right you can say i i use the memory size then he will catch it where do you increase the memory size size for lambda function uh, how long it execute uh, after what interval it failed and you can say oh lambda function failed uh, uh after 30 minutes so 
he will catch oh lambda function are mean does not long for that long it mean for small activities so it means up झूठ बोल रहे हो या गलत आंसर दे रहे हो उसको पता चल जाएगा अगर वैसा हुआ तो देन लेस चांसेस फॉर सिलेक्शन ओके सो यू ड्राइव द इंटरव्यूअर एनी क्वेश्चन हियर हेलो सर वाइल टेलिंग द रोल्स वी हैव टोल्ड जस्ट we have to mention our roles in our technical interview mm -hmm. suppose i have four year experience then i should tell him uh, his bottom two top uh, roles uh, which i perform in my four year experience or just overview of that okay now role yahan pe hum log bol rahe not designation designation is different and role is different designation may be aapka uh, rega let's say senior analyst suppose okay so you can say that uh, i'm working as senior analyst this is your designation or you can my designation current my currently my designation is senior analyst that's it just end there but in i have worked in around let's say three projects up till now and in this pro three project i perform different roles and start with the uh maybe the first one uh, you started with support executive then you got promoted or with the and mention that with the best or good performance uh, i moved to development team and in development team i perform the role and don't mention eight or nine roles just mention one or two roles or three roles max so first join kiya tab ka role second role and now current role in your project that's just end there okay so wo story bhi lagega uh, start with the first and then because you have just have 3 years experience 3 or 4 uh, so obviously agar kisi ko 15 16 saal hai so he can start with the current only and last two only that's it so that's that's the idea so mention the first have only two or three roles when you explain the current is important uh, and first two or first one just mention that what you started with okay okay sir thank you and generally data engineering tool bolo uh, sab log uh, so that is because you, if you are going for data science then you mention the data science role okay any other question before we proceed uh i just want to hear three questions at least on the interviews hello hello yes sir can you repeat what are the things that we need to say like first about ourselves then about experience mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. okay uh, let me start with uh there is a good Uh, just give me a minute okay uh, so i think it will write when i'm talking okay so it will write and uh, we can correct it and proceed uh, so if interviewer ask the question 
tell me about yourself. This is how you should start. Hi, my name is Umesh and I have around four years of experience. Uh, I'm currently working with ABC organization and uh, senior analyst is my designation. Uh, I have worked on uh, different project, three projects, let's say. I work, have worked on three projects um, and I started with the support executive uh, and currently since last two years, I'm working as a data engineer on this project. My primary responsibility, the, the current project, uh, the retail analytics is the big program and I'm part of uh, sales uh, sales monitoring team or sales analytics team where I'm responsible for building the data pipeline uh, for a data lake project uh, which is getting data from streaming and batch data sources. Uh, the project involves uh, different technical components like uh, AWS Cloud, then Snowflake, then uh, CICD pipelines along with the Jenkins or CICD pipelines with J Git actions. Um, it involves uh, following the best practices like TDD test driven uh, development. Um, also, I have uh, deal with the large amount of data. I have also worked on other databases in this current project like Oracle, SQL Server, um, MySQL and also deal with the streaming data, data coming from Kafka um, and getting that data into the data lake. Uh, once the data comes to the data lake, I'm responsible for building the jobs, refinement job, transform job and extract jobs to send the data to downstream systems. I am also responsible for building the data pipeline and scheduling it um, or orchestrating it using the airflow, uh, which I use to trigger the jobs and monitor the jobs. My current project right now is uh, some part of is in uh, production and some part is in the development. So I'm working on uh, the development activities as well. Uh, along with uh, supporting uh, the L2 and L3 team to fix the some of the issues that a, they encounter. Okay, so that's it about uh, my experience. Okay, so that's how uh, at a high level we mentioned about what we do, uh, what we are, what we do. Uh, what is the current project and what is the technical things. And you can also, uh, like I hear mention the TDD or Git actions. If you are not comfortable, replace it with the AWS services. Okay. Uh, I have used uh, these, these AWS services and mentioned that, like I mentioned TDD. So he will ask, what is TDD? How do you do that? What are the different things you do in TDD? Why you do that? Uh, I mentioned Git actions and CI/CD pipeline. So he will ask the question on that one. Or he may say, okay, you tell me about the AWS services that you use or tell me about uh, the Snowflake uh, that uh, you have used. Okay, let me uh, correct this and give it to you. So use the chat GPT and you can you can use the power of chat GPT and other things. So uh, that will 
give your best answer now see replace it with this so you can see uh, my name is umesh i have around four years of experience currently i am employed with abc organization my designation is senior analyst over the years i had opportunity to work to various project uh, three to be precise uh, i began my journey as support executive and hi uh, i and have steadily progressed uh, for the past two years i have been serving as a data engineer on our current project so this tells you about and you can see how nicely chat gpt wrote it and how efficient so usne usko barabar pata chala ki ye paragraph it nahi hai it tells about your uh, current experience current designation and that's why so it has taken the next paragraph primary focus now this talks primary focus of my role is in current project which is retail analytics is to lead the sales monitoring or sales analytic team ye thoda jyada ho gaya but you can correct it uh, i am tasked with constructing data pipeline for significant program that collects the data from both streaming and batch sources technical components involved in the project includes aws cloud snowflake ci cd pipeline with jenkins or ci cd pipeline with github actions adhering to bit practices i follow test driven development and you can add more details here so this talks about your technical things um then this talk about your specific things the which one are more important that you have done handling substantial amount of data is a part of my routine in my project i have also worked uh, with various databases like oracle sql server mysql additionally i have managed the streaming data from kafka and ensuring its integration with the data lake once the data reaches to the data lake my responsibility includes constructing refinement transform and extracting jobs to transmit data to downstream systems right this tells about your specific things that you are doing this tells about the technical things that you have used then my i play a crucial then this talk about your role into other areas like um, my crucial role is building orchestrating data pipelines using apache airflow utilizing it to trigger and monitor the job at present our project is now this tells about your project phase where current project is project is phase state uh, with some components in production and other in the development and consequently i am actively engaged in both development activities and support the l2 activities for l2 and l3 uh, resolving any uh, issues in that arise and that sums up my professional experience now with this it may that person easily understand that you talked into four categories now he can once you started probably he may capture tdd test driven development or ci cd or jenkins he may ask a question on here okay here also you explain your project like it's a retail analytics and you are building the uh, data lake for sales monitoring team done nothing don't need to explain all the things in the first phase this first speech should not be more than 2 minutes should not be more than 2 minutes and if any additional question come that person automatically will ask you okay to mera experience aisa kuch kuch bande pehle question mein 5 minute lete 5 ya zyada to interviewer say okay okay wait 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 वो उसको इंटरप्ट करता है सो बिकॉज ही गेट लॉस हिमसेल्फ वेन यू टॉक अगर आप ऐसा बोलोगे तो ही विल चार या पांच सेंटेंस में पूरा उसको पता चल जाएगा वॉट यू डू वॉट इज योर रोल हाउ मच एक्सपीरियंस यू हैव वॉट इज योर स्पेशलिटी एंड देन ही विल आस्क द क्वेश्चन ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट ओके एनी अदर क्वेश्चन Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, my question was: Do they ask about the um, the previous profile? That means we are working as a support executive, right? So they mm -hmm. do they ask about that also? Ah, uh, generally not. 
they understand it so generally agar maine aisa likha to agar if you don't mention the support executive so they will not ask i mean they doesn't they care more about your current project a current project hamesha zyada dikhao meaning you are working since 2 years or 3 years aise dikhao so that way first thing doesn't uh, purane cheez pe koi puchta nahi hai unless in your resume you specify it so resume may be uh, put the current experience first current project first and then the other projects at the bottom okay agar aap do ya teen project dikhate ho to current put first and the first project at the end so generally resume dekhte time banda uh, pehle do pe hi dekhega tisra if you put a support uh, something like that सपोर्टिंग टीम में हो और टेक्निकल सपोर्ट लिखो डोंट राइट इट लाइक ऑन कॉल सपोर्ट या फोन सपोर्ट ऐसा कुछ नहीं सो स्पेशली और आई वुड प्रेफर डोंट पुट अ सपोर्ट द रीजन आई टेल यू बिकॉज सम पीपल कंसिडर इट एज अ नॉन टेक्निकल रोल राइट सो आई गिव दिस वन एग्जाम्पल यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल एग्जाम्पल और एक चीज डोंट कॉपी एज इज मैंने यहाँ पे सपोर्ट लिखा है तो भी आप सपोर्ट लिखोगे डोंट कॉपी एज इज जस्ट यूज यूर कॉमन सेंस एंड जस्ट पुट इट चेंज द वर्डिंग लाइक मैंने यहाँ पे सी आई सी डी लिखा यू कैन पुट इट डिफरेंट वॉट एवर यू बट स्ट्रक्चर ऐसे होना चाहिए थ्री फोर जैसे यहाँ पे फोर पैराग्राफ पे ऐसे ही फोर पैराग्राफ या फोर या फाइव पैराग्राफ में स्ट्रक्चर होना चाहिए ओके okay? Yes. Okay. Any other question? And, and next question to apne aap iske upar hi aayenge. Uh now they may ask the other question. Let me uh write few questions. Okay. The interviewer can also ask the other questions like tell me the scenario Uh, where you are blocked with some issue how do you solve that issue okay and what was that issue this is the one question and the another question interviewer might ask tell me a scenario or issue that you were not able to solve and what you did in that scenario that's a second question ओके सो ये दो क्वेश्चन वो पूछेगा कि नाउ व्हाट यू डू यू कैन टेल यस आई वाज ब्लॉक देयर वाज अ इशू एंड व्हेन यू मेंशन दिस इश्यूज मेंशन द इशू व्हिच लुक व्हिच शुड नॉट बी लाइक अ रॉकेट साइंस टाइप ऑफ इशू और व्हिच शुड नॉट बी वेरी इजी इशू ओके Uh, so for example uh, you can tell i was dealing with uh, the issue where um, i was not able to connect to aws uh, having the issue in connectivity uh, or or kafka connectivity and or having a performance issues um, some records were rejected or it was taking lot of time generally mention the performance issue that way you can direct him to the question which is related to more on the performance tuning okay um, and you can mention i reduced the time by 20% and or 40% or 50% uh, what you did to resolve that okay now there is a question important question uh what is the scenario or issue where you are not able to solve and what you did in that case so you can say i was trying to get the data let's say from kafka and uh, i was not able to connect it or mention something like uh, where you don't have access and you need a help from someone to usme kya karna hai jaise ki issue aaya or data partition nahi tha you uh it it was let's say you mention it's a performance issue uh 
you can continue that sequence and it was after this also i was not able to tune the jobs it was again taking some time and then i come up with the solution to do the partitioning uh, at a data at streaming level which i was not able to do that in that case i seek the help from uh, infrastructure team or kafka team and other thing जो इशू आप सॉल्व नहीं कर पाए वो इशू के लिए बोलो कि आप रीच आउट फॉर हेल्प टू अदर्स तो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट अगर इशू कुछ लोग मैं बताता हूं क्या होता है सपोज आपने आपके घर पे काम है और आपको फ्लोरिंग का काम करना है आपने किसी बंदे को हायर किया फ्लोरिंग के काम काम करने के लिए एंड यू That person charge you by hour पर घंटे के हिसाब से लेट से वो सौ रुपए चार्ज कर रहा है पर घंटे के हिसाब से ही इज अ हार्ड वर्किंग गाय ओके और उसका क्या हुआ थोड़ा इश्यू आया लेट से फ्लोरिंग में कट है जो वो कट नहीं कर पा रहा है उसके पास मशीन नहीं है ओके नाउ ही हैज इशू ही इज नॉट एबल टू फिक्स दैट फ्लोरिंग सपोज पाइप है पाइप के लिए राउंड कट करना है और उसके लिए उसको टाइम लग रहा है राइट ना सो ही इज ट्राइंग डिफरेंट मेथड वो आरी से कट कर रहा कट कर रहा है और या तो फिर किसी चीज से कट कर रहा है एंड इट इज टेकिंग टाइम ही इज डूइंग हार्ड वर्क वो हाथ से तोड़ रहा है सपोज जो फ्लोर का फ्लोर है फ्लोर का टाइल है वो हाथ से कट कर रहा है and it's taking time he is doing a effort because wo hath se kar raha hai right and second scenario hai same issue kisi bande ko aata hai aur wo bolta hai ki sir mere paas ye cut karne ke liye ye nahi hai uh, aap ya to fir main leke aata hu 5 minute lagenge uh, ya to fir aapke paas uh, kuch machine hai ya to fir kuch head drill hai usse main cut kar sakta hu uh, kya aap doge mujhe ye do bande आप में से आप कौन से बंदे को ज्यादा प्रेफर करोगे सेकेंड वन द रीजन इज दैट इट इज सेविंग यूर मनी राइट इवन दो द फर्स्ट पर्सन इज हार्ड वर्किंग यस वो बेचारा हाथ से काम कर रहा है इट्स पेनफुल इट्स नीड द पावर वो थक रहा है यस दैट्स गुड रियली गुड बट इज इट वर्दी फॉर यू आपके लिए वो कीमती है नहीं राधर देन सेकेंड पर्सन जो आपसे हेल्प मांग रहा है और आपका टाइम सेव कर रहा है बिकॉज ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर कस्टमर इज पेइंग फॉर समथिंग एंड डोंट वेस्ट द मनी कस्टमर का पैसा आपके हिसाब से मत वेस्ट करो राइट थिंक ऑफ इन हिज शूज कि अगर मैं उसकी जगह पे रहता तो what he would have done right so if you go that way that attitude is always help not only uh aap jab higher position pe jaoge manager and other thing so that will help you a lot okay so always remember this thing okay uh what is the other question now again uh, office mein aise bhi hota hai ki are wo bande ko promotion diya mujhe nahi diya uh, main itna mehnat karta hu yes that's true so it relates to the first example only you do the effort aap extra hour rukte ho extra kaam karte ho uh, log bolte hai ki jo banda kaam show karta hai Uh, उसको ही प्रमोशन मिलता है वाई दैट हैपन्स इज देर इज अ नेचुरल टेंडेंसी ओके पीपल फील कि मेरा काम बोलेगा मैं का अच्छा काम करता हूं तो लोग मुझे नोटिस करेंगे और दे विल गिव मी प्रमोशन दैट नेवर हैपन्स पीपल डज नॉट हैव अ टाइम टू लुक एट यू टू असेस यू इतने माइक्रो लेवल पे अरे हाँ ये बंदा है ना अच्छा काम करता है You have to speak about your work. आप जो काम करते हो यू हैव टू स्पीक फॉर दैट की 
मैंने ये किया आप इंटरव्यू को बोलोगे नहीं कि मैंने आई हैव डन परफॉर्मेंस इंप्रूवमेंट एंड आई हैव सेव थर्टी परसेंट टाइम एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इज सेव बाय टेन परसेंट और फाइव परसेंट आप जब उसको बोलोगे नहीं तो उसको कैसे पता चलेगा वट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द वर्क यू हैव डन सो दैट इम्पैक्ट टेलिंग दैट इम्पैक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आप काम कर रहे हो वेरी गुड बट डजेंट इट डजेंट मीन दैट आप खाली बोलो कि मैंने एटी परसेंट टाइम सेव किया बट कैसे किया पता नहीं तो दैट विल ऑल्सो नॉट हेल्प सो हैव यूर वर्क पॉलिश सच वे दैट पीपल सी द वैल्यू इन यूर वर्क तो इंटरव्यू में भी वही करना है हमें हमने जो काम किया है उसका वैल्यू बताना है कैसे किया है वो भी बताना है राइट right? अगर आप खाली जस्ट कैसे किया वो बताओगे एंड पीपल विल नॉट थिंक द वैल्यू ऑफ ऑफ इट जस्ट एड अ वैल्यू व्हेन यू एक्सप्लेन इट यू कैन से आई क्रिएटेड द रीयूजेबल यूटिलिटीज विच सेव्ड 80 परसेंट टाइम और डेवलपर्स टाइम मे बी इट रिड्यूसेस यू कैन से दैट पहले डेवलप में एक जॉब डेवलप करने के लिए uh, एक डेवलपर को uh, एक स्प्रिंट लगता था नाउ इट इज रिड्यूस टू टू डेज दो दिन में ही एक जॉब डेवलप होता है एंड आई डेवलप द रियूजेबल कोड एंड यूटिलिटीज सो ही विल से गुड कौन से यूटिलिटी बने देन यू कैन से आई बिल्ड दिज रियूजेबल कॉम्पोनेंट सो दैट सेव अ टाइम राइट सो इट मेक्स मोर अट्रैक्टिंग एनी अदर क्वेश्चन रिटेल एनालिटिक सोल्यूशन फॉर सेल्स मॉनिटरिंग द पर्पज ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन इज टू सी द ट्रेंड सेल्स ट्रेंड क्या क्या ट्रेंड्स है कौन सा प्रोडक्ट सेल होता है जस्ट शॉर्ट डोंट एक्सप्लेन इट इन डिटेल अगर यहाँ पे है तो ओके नाउ दे विल आस्क ओके सम पीपल में आस्क पीपल सम पीपल और इंटरव्यूअर वांट यू टू नो व्हाट बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम यू आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व अगेन हियर डोंट गो इन डिटेल डोंट एक्सप्लेन जस्ट एक्सप्लेन एट हाई लेवल सो यू कैन से दैट uh my client was facing uh, a issue there was a business uh, rfe or use case raised to minimize their inventory cost and they were trying to build a solution which can track the inventory cost and minimize that so this solution or data platform helps that so wo kaise help karta hai it give me at the end of the day Uh, every day it gives the total inventory pending and inventory cost and we identify the slow selling products and we report that no so slow selling products in a report so that uh, people either can return that or they can put on a discount so they can minimize the inventory that's how you can tell the solution of the problem and build this solution this is the data lake or data platform that is helping to drive the decisions that's how you can explain very simple one or two sentence max three sentence mein okay okay so uh, yep so what do do they ask in the coding section like uh, they used to ask us to write whole, whole pro, uh, means code or what or the particular scenarios they used to give us in tech in interview yes yeah, yeah. so that's a good question so this goes to this here so generally ye jo log rehta hai sometime they may ask a code the reason is that what they know they will ask to you for example uh, some interviewer may ask okay i have a list how do and there is a um, let's say i have an array and i want there is a duplicate entry array how do you do that okay they may ask this technical question coding also uh 
personally i don't like that one uh, the reason is that no one remembers the code exactly but uh, what i would prefer i mean uh, this people may uh, ask you to write a code but when you write a code if you don't not able to recollect the syntax or something just you can method uh, tell them the method but here is the one thing you can tell them multiple ways to do that if you tell them the multiple ways to do that uh, that is excellent coding may could sakte yes some people may go some i'm talking about some people mainly these junior people they may ask for the code and best way to get on top of the situation is tell them three four ways tell them oh you can do with this you can do with this option or you can also do with this option do ya teen option batao okay and to prepare for this interview is very easy you can google and you can mainly python agar coding mein hai to he may ask on the python uh, agar sql pe hai to sql is very easy sql he may ask okay uh, i want to get the uh, second largest salary of uh, within the department how do i do that that sort of question in sql they may ask right so some people this junior people may ask you to write a code also either python or either sql okay, okay. and so to thank prepare you so for much. that yep and to prepare for that uh, you will get lot of questions uh, over the internet uh, and use those but if you know the concept you can easily tell them and different ways also doing that Okay, sir. Thank you. Ah, uh, what else? Okay. Now, ah, uh, let's say, आपका interview हो गया. Interviewer में ask. do you have any questions that is the another uh, question they may ask to you so uh, yes you can say ask the question now what question you can ask uh, which are something like uh, what is my role going to be what is the project about uh, that thing you can ask what are the tools and technologies are being used in this project uh, that's the few things you can ask uh they may also ask why you are leaving the current company uh they also know that why you are leaving don't tell the negatives about the current companies but uh tell them you are looking for uh, opportunity and tell them what opportunity you are looking for uh like you are looking for uh the company where you can get a learn a uh, new things or you can explore your or you can utilize your skills uh in at a higher scale uh that that the thing you can mention or sometimes you can be genuine tell them that i recently married and there are some financials uh, commitments i need to follow or tell them i recently purchased a house uh, you can tell that one so doesn't matter uh you are being a that may also show that you are being a transparent to it uh, okay never tell about your past company like uh, why um, why you are leaving that company and other thing doesn't matter okay so i'll tell you one example uh, when i switch one of my job uh he asked me why you are changing job i said i'm looking for um on site opportunity then he asked me yes we have a uh, on site opportunity in nepal will you go that that sort of question he asked so i confidently say yes i want to go then he said why uh, you want to go i said uh, because of perdiem right so sometimes inter kuch interviewer rehta hai wo आपको ट्रिक करेंगे थोड़ा सा कि आप बोलोगे कि हाँ मुझे ऑन साइट जाना है तो बोलेगा हाँ चल मैं नेपाल भेजता हूँ जाओगे ऐसा या फिर आप बोलोगे कि 
uh, I want to switch because uh, financial commitment है तो बोलेगा अगर uh, our if our company don't give you a rise so what you will not join or like that generally नहीं होता है but some लोग पूछेंगे then you will have to be a smart uh, you can say that I I think my skills are very valuable and I'm definitely confident that uh, I'll get a good pay and I can perform a better uh, given that I have a good opportunities in your company, right? So that is the thing, another way to deviate or another way to stop the, him there, right? So what about uh, the location like uh, mm -hmm. reference like sometimes we are um, like uh, eager to work with that company but it is away from our hometown or sometimes a package mm -hmm. is good and we mm -hmm. want to work over there but we could not mm -hmm. uh, go or we could not uh, shift at that city so at mm -hmm. that time what should be the answer according to you yes uh, that's a good question and always give priority to yourself um so if agar wo interview jaate time aap you are confident that oh mujhe mumbai location nahi chahiye if you are confident that nahi chahiye just tell them uh, and being transparent with them helps ki aap join karoge and then baad mein nahi so be open and you can tell them on the call itself i want to be transparent with you um uh, i'm looking for this location only if i get that will be good so Sometimes now कुछ लोगों का concern रहता है कुछ लोग बोलते हैं कि नहीं मुझे अगर Mumbai location है but salary uh, मैं Mumbai shift नहीं होना चाहता uh, because it's costly and if I get a rise around fifty percent then I join then mention that condition it's your personal choice always remember that and give an option them an option if they say uh, Will you relocate? If you are okay, right? Mention that, yes, I'm okay to relocate. If you are not comfortable, okay, say straight away, no, um, uh, I'm looking for this location only. Uh, it doesn't matter. If you lose the job, that offer, doesn't matter, but be transparent. Or if you say, I'm 50 50, I can join kar sakta hu, ya bhi, uh, mujhe ye location. Nahi chahiye. So straight away say that. I'm okay to relocate if I get uh, this height. Be transparent and be clear. So, it's not that you have offer loge, fir baad mein, aapko bhi dikkat hoga, unko bhi dikkat hoga. So, better uh, be clear, transparent with them and mention that you are being you are being transparent with them and you are you want to relocate or you don't want to relocate. And tell the reason also why you don't want to relocate. Doesn't matter because Personal life is important. Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Yep. Uh, sir, uh, can we uh, ask them for the shift timing also? That as per the client, they decide the shift mm -hmm. timing. So, how can we speak for this also? Yeah, so when they say, do you have any questions at the end? That time you can say, okay, uh, you can tell what is my location going to be, what is going to be shift time, uh, what are the working hours, or you can straight away mention the work cultures also. Uh, people are generally open to tell uh, the work culture in the sense uh, whether you have to, some companies are uh, like, if they have a US customers, they official time is 9 to 5 but actually they are okay if the people come at 1 pm and stay late so that also happens so to ask them if you have any specific questions ask them but make sure it doesn't feel like it's a blocker for you sometimes what happen if it's extended hours so you can work you can live early and connect from home right that is the other option Okay, and one more question was uh, that uh, now we will go as an experienced person. 
to uh, whatever work they will give to us or whatever the task uh, mm-hmm. they will look at to us like an experience only but in mm-hmm. actual we are not experienced so uh, how should we deal for mm-hmm. this these type of okay. situations so i'll tell you uh, that a good answer how do you you will sound like a experienced person that's that's in short you are trying to ask right uh main bond paper pe likh ke de sakta hu if you compare a person who is actual has 3 years years experience and who is working and if you compare yourself with him once you go there you will sound more intelligent than them right and i'll tell you why the reason is that uh any person who joins so let's say you are a fresher you join you join infosys suppose so first year it goes in your training wo training mein c c++ sql java testing aur jo bhi hai that two months three months wo chalta hai then you look for the project ek do mahine project dekhne mein jaate hain so let's say you got a project once you got an project as you are new joiner they don't give you the directly the actual project to work so they will give you under someone uh, you will be the shadow resource and it depends on that person how he uh, shares knowledge with you or whether he has a time to show that knowledge with you and if he gives that will be some basic work for you uh, not टीडीएस वर्ड इनिशियली सो एक दो साल तो ऐसे ही निकल जाता है देन यू स्टार्ट लर्निंग की हाँ क्या कौन सी चीज है टू लर्न एट दिस स्केल इंक्लूडिंग सी आई सी टी पाइपलाइन वॉल्ड इंक्लूडिंग दीज डिफरेंट सर्विसेस दीज डिफरेंट कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड एक्चुअल प्रोजेक्ट लेवल बिजनेस यूज केस इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर इंडिविजुअल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न हिमसेल्फ right maybe so few people are uh, very talented uh, maybe they look for a knowledge and other thing they themselves they may have that knowledge but 80 90% people uh, will lag in this space okay so i'm confident that you will sound more uh, knowledgeable more realistic the more productive than those team members okay and uh, how do you sound like uh, you are experienced based on the things that we are doing like test driven development you are doing uh, the code coverage is another thing you are using ci cd pipeline you you can use infrastructure as a code you are separate segregating your code in config files and other thing right you're modernizing your code you're building the usable utilities this experience is not generally for a person this sort of skills or mentality generally does not get by a person who has real 3 years of experience by himself okay wo khud ye soch nahi sakta unless and until there is some guide available for him and the guide has a time or mentor has a time to guide that person unless and until ye hota nahi hai okay so okay. i'm confident you will sound more uh, experienced knowledgeable and productive than those people okay thank you sir hello sir hello uh my question on the real time scenario means on project basis question if they mm-hmm. asked where you stuck and all if someone mm-hmm. is stuck to uh, give the answer what to do in that case means how to tackle that situation if you are uh, stuck there mhm can so, you please uh, guide yeah so that's why uh, when i was there i told you that there is a agile methodology in the project and each day there is a scrum call and in scrum call you mention if there are any blockers so if you say yes i am blocked because of this issue people will help you right so they will say uh, if you say to the scrum master i am blocked because then 
don't know what is issue then someone uh, that scrum master will say team lead or architect ko bolega ki he has issue can you please help him so he will help you to resolve that issue or you can ask for person like i am having this issue who, who is the best person team channel rahega team channel mein puch sakte who is the best person to resolve this issue or i am having the access issue who can help me uh, people will willing to help you in that so project manager or scrum master they don't look at uh, uh, you have issue and you are not able to solve aise point nahi karenge if you have issue they are happy that you raise that they will check for someone who can help you and they will tag that person to you okay sir thank you uh, it's good to ask for the help but when you ask for the help make sure that you do first your analysis aisa nahi ki are ye code mein issue aa raha hai pata nahi kyu aa raha hai but find out what are the things first few things you do your own uh, research and then go for the help so jo help karne banda aayega usko aisa nahi lagna chahiye ye to chhota sa hi tha aur usko aaya nahi aisa nahi just do your own analysis uh, there are a lot of things right now chat gpt google um, you can find anything uh, just try to do that even though if you are not able to resolve the issue then you can ask for a help if in it's access or something issue you don't have an access then they can these people can help you and how to tackle this question in interview also sir okay uh, which question at the time of uh, explaining the real time scenario means uh, mm -hmm. what is the problem we are facing to uh, in project and mm -hmm. if we are uh, telling the answer and we are stuck there in any matter i don't explaining now right now but mm -hmm. if we are stuck there so what we are uh, in that in that case how we are tackle that situation means if we are stuck there to explain how we are uh, solving this particular problem which we are faced in so uh, a project uh, going to in project so you are asking stuck while answering or stuck yes, in yes, the yes. project stuck while answering okay to koi bhi sawal aap ka answer de rahe ho and you stuck it what aapko samajh nahi aa raha hai kya bataye that's what you are telling right yes sir yes sir ha to if you say uh, i'll give you one example any technical question you are asking right agar उसने सपोज सवाल पूछा कि डेटा मॉडलिंग सो ही आस्क द क्वेश्चन लाइक डू यू नो अबाउट फैक्स कंसल्टेशन स्कीम इज द क्वेश्चन इन डेटा मॉडलिंग ही आस्क राइट एंड यू डोंट नो द आंसर एंड यू स्टक सो हाउ टू टैकल दिस दैट्स व्हाट यू आर आस्किंग थेरोटिकल वी आर एबल टू गिव द एंसर बट इन अदा हमने जो प्रोजेक्ट किया है ना सर उतना हम डीप में उतना वो प्रैक्टिस नहीं रहता तो इन केस हमें जब हम जब स्टक हो जाएंगे तो कैसे उनको बता सके मीन्स कैसे उनको सेटिस्फाई हो जाए ऐसा आंसर दे सके ओके सो दैट्स वॉट अगर आप project explain kar rahe ho and he asks some questions related to project and uh, you don't know the answer say that you don't know the answer but i know this things about it so something like uh, a retail analytics project hai and he has asked uh, like how many uh, maybe i'll take a complex uh, example one uh, what are the cardinality between these tables suppose this is a question and you don't know the answer you can say uh, actually i don't know the cardinality between the tables uh, exactly don't remember right now uh, but i can tell you that there are around 18 tables uh, one um, three from inventory five from sales and this uh, there was uh, a relation between I'll the inventory and sales but that's what some ancillary information you can mention so you if you don't know answer say you don't know but also say that i know this thing 
that way uh, it sounds like you know something about it whether it's a technical or whether it's about the project okay and if you have a specific question just write it down and share on the teams and i can uh, write the answer for you okay sir thank you okay anything else hello oh uh, yes Oh, um, sir, actually, we had not worked in, this, uh, in detail. We had not worked on the CI CD pipeline in the TDD mm -hmm. We had just tried to implement it in our recent project. So, mm -hmm. if suppose they ask any deep question in, on that concept, then is, is it possible yeah. that they will ask a deep question? Okay, got it. So, just like the CI CD pipeline, you have recently used it, but you do not know details about it. So, how to answer that? So let's say he asked, oh, good, you have used the CICT pipeline. Uh, tell me how you have used it. And let's say you just only use, you do the code check-in and check-out only. That's what you only did. And you know that once you do the check-in, check-out of the code, there is a review process happens and that's it. How the code is deployed, how the code goes into production, you don't know that. Okay. That's the situation. And the person asks, oh, tell me how the CI-CD pipeline works in deployment of your code in your project. So you can mention, yes, there is a CI-CD pipeline setup. As I am a consumer only of that CI-CD pipeline, I just uh, do the code check-in. There is a, once I do the push the code or merge happens, there is a review process. My team lead reviews that code. And once the review done, uh, the code get merged. I don't have access to look at the uh, production deployment or higher level deployment, but I know the this is the process uh, that I know. And we recently started uh, following this process, or you can say recently we uh, set up this process. So I'm still learning about it. That's what you can mention. Okay, yeah, first thing good. bolna access nahi hai. second thing bolna ki I'm learning about it. Okay, and I'm following that process. I'm a consumer. If you <laughs> say these three things, you will understand. Another example, if you mention test-driven development, you say in your project, uh, there is a test-driven development processing views. Can you tell me about yourself? Uh, can you, te you tell me about that? So you can say, yes, it is uh configured in our project as we are uh trying to go live so uh for as that as a part of that process uh, we are building the test cases and test coverage we uh, and if you don't know about much about that so recently there are training sessions are conducted by lead uh, and say that uh, there are uh, basic prototypes we are working on. I'm still learning that and you can end that. Okay. okay or sometimes uh, one more example I'm taking uh, Kafka. If we say, oh, uh, you are using Kafka. Can you tell me how the data from Kafka is coming to your data lake? You can say, uh, Yes, uh, I recently started working on the data, which is a streaming data. Uh, for right now, the Kafka streams are not configured. Uh, we are right now assuming that data is landed into S3 and we are developing the job. Once uh, the uh, infrastructure team connects the Kafka to our account, we will use that. And you can say I'm still learning on that. I just read that there are the configurations, uh, S3 sync connector configurations needs to be added and end this. Okay, so you cut it down that person. If you say something, then he will say, oh, then tell me this, then tell me this. If you say that you it is recently added or it is yet to be configured and that's it. But you are using with dummy data, assuming it is coming from Kafka, uh, that way, you you are you 
are saying that you are going to, you will be using that in future. You are preparing for that. Okay. Okay, sir. But uh, is it not possible that as a senior analyst, uh, as we are giving the answer, like I don't have access to that things, then mm -hmm. can they ask a reverse yeah, question that as that. a senior uh, analyst, you don't have access? Means mm -hmm. even I don't have experience. Can they so, ask? Huh, can they ask that as a senior an analyst, you don't have access? But look, for the senior analyst, is it possible that they even don't have access? Your voice to... is breaking. Hello? Mm -hmm. Is it possible that for the senior analyst, uh, there will be some things like uh, they don't have access to those things? Uh, yeah, maybe admin console, admin. Generally, people don't have access to admin. Uh, I'm asking things. about uh, CI, CD pipeline, so TDD. Means we are giving mm -hmm. answer na, that uh, I don't have access yeah. to those particular so, deployment things. Is it possible yeah, generally, that they will reverse uh, a question? Reverse the questions uh, like what? Like as a senior analyst, you don't have access. Yeah, yeah, you can mention only you for CI/CD pipeline. You can say that only uh, leads has pod lead has access to review, and you can mention that. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Then you know the hierarchy, right? Generally, hierarchy uh, is like this. Let me. Uh, you're able to see my screen yet, right? Yes, sir. So, for example, Okay, so you can see that generally levels right there. So 13 level is associate, just a beginner. Uh, so I'll tell you, uh, this is for Accenture and every company has the same thing. If you see the TCS or Infosys, this is for Infosys. They have this trainee engineer, they have system engineer, then senior system engineer. Okay, so trainee is just basic one, uh, che mene. And you can see that you have a technical lead here or technology analyst here or senior system engineer here. You, If it's an Infosys, you can have your level to be teen sal ka experience hai, to probably you are at this level. This or this depends on your progression. Uh, similarly, if you see the Cognizant, you are analyst, your programmer analyst and associate. So somewhere you will be here. Uh, so that's what I said. If you are on, this is the normal career path. So it tells you about KPMG, Deloitte and other thing. So it ta start with the basic one here. Then it is in turn, uh, the, uh, this is the associate consultant. Generally, associate is the one is the beginner level and you can see number of uh, years experience. So if you are four or three years experience, you will definitely fall in this area, either analyst uh, or associate consultant or consultant in that area, you will fall. Uh, so that's what if I would say you will, if it's Accenture, generally teen sal ka experience, you will be at level 10 or 11 around this level okay and who has the access the team lead or these are the pod leads are there okay and then you will have associate manager and then manager 
then senior manager, associate director, director, and VP and CEO, all these are executive. These are non-technical. I mean, who look technical, but they don't do the technical work. They are more on sales, like MD. Uh, technical may start either from even as you go, 100% technical, 100% technical, 100% technical. Uh, tech lead is leading, again, a technical lead. Associate manager is maybe an 80% technical, 20% manager. Manager, 70, 30. Senior manager, 60, 40. Associate manager. Then it got reduced as you go in hierarchy. It is more, ye logo se kaam karwana is the uh, task after that. Okay, so that's fine. If you are... Uh, if you say you don't have access, either you senior analyst or analyst, uh, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any Hello, other sir. question? Yep. Uh, sir, uh, suppose we have worked on three to four project projects till now. Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. uh, for only for the current project, we should explain in the self introduction, or we should uh, explain for remaining. Uh, or all the projects mm -hmm. okay so when you explain your role if you see this the second paragraph this talk about your role in that role explain everything in all four projects and then when you say in the current project just explain uh, when you go to the next level just explain about the current project Okay. okay, so just say up the char project dale char project may up the pele project may glue use kia, dusra project may EMR use kia, tisre may snowflake kia, right? So when you mention your role or your project experience, tell them that I have worked on three, four projects and uh, during those projects I have used this, this, this technologies uh, and work as, as the data engineer and does have done this thing in my recent project i am using this technology and i am doing this work okay that's how you mention okay. so tell me about yourself may it's your summary it's not about the project or something it's all your summary and then something about your current project and current thing okay so mentioning the name of project is also not mandatory only your role is important yeah, project name you can mention, but role is important. What role you play in the current project, what tech, because they don't want to know more about your project. They want to more about you. You are not a salesperson to sell something. You are selling yourself. So tell about more about yourself. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, these are good questions. And why don't you write and send me? So you ask right now, just... If you send the written questions, it helps everyone, right? So I am pretty sure may de there may be five or ten percent log jo recording dekhte rahenge, right? No one looks at recording. No one likes to uh, have one way communication. People like to have two way communication. So better. You write that question, send it, I'll reply back and any have more communication on the uh, group. Any other question? No, sir. Okay, we'll stop here and we'll continue on snow pipe with batch, I mean, the, and then streaming, okay? And other, any other questions on the interview and the project? Uh, I think, uh, just give me a minute. I'm trying to see if everybody got an access to Git. Uh, Rakesh, uh, have you sent uh, today the request to other people also? Uh, no, sir. Actually, I was waiting for 24 hours to be completed. 
ओके आई थिंक हाँ थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा ओके ओके वेन एवर यू गेट अ टाइम चेक दैट एंड सेंड द इनवाइट टू अदर पीपल्स एज वेल एंड वॉल्ट का एक्सेस भी चेक करो द टेस्ट पास वर्ड इज द पासवर्ड फॉर यूजर so all 85 people are added into the world uh then snowflake uh, you have your own account right for snowflake yes sir okay and i'm preparing some sample data if i need help from someone in creating that sample data or executing script uh, today i will work on creating those sample data uh and put it into the s3 or or put it into the git git pay me rekhunga or either will put the script which creates the sample data uh i want to have the large amount of data so i'll try to see how much data we can generate okay so today you will get uh, uh and if you get an access to git everything is on the git right now updated i yesterday updated uh, including the document also so we'll go from there so if you go on the document section on the development branch i have also added the powerpoint if let me know if you want to get it at the markdown file i can convert this powerpoint into markdown file also okay okay thanks uh, we'll stop here and we'll continue tomorrow as well thank you sir thank, thank you, you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir